Hey guys, it's Nick McDonald here from Simple Trader. This is a video that's going to explain how to set up your uh, commercial signal copier account. So you need the commercial signal copier account if you are looking to sell subscriptions to your signals. So if you want to charge people a monthly fee for access to your trades, then you are in the right place. Okay, so when you first log in, after you've done the steps of going through the um, disclaimer, you're going to be met with a page like this. Now what you want to do to start with is add a new signal. So click in here. Signal name. In this situation we're going to call it sample signal. MetaTrader ID. Now this is your MetaTrader terminal. Sorry, your MetaTrader account number. So I've just set one up here. Um, it's 937873. There we go. Publish signals to your portal. Leave that checked. Currency that you want to sell the signals in. I prefer to sell in US dollars. Copy these two. Take profit stop loss. Leave that on default. Maximum lots allowed. Now you can use this if you want to restrict the number of lots that your clients are copying into their accounts. Um, I recommend leaving it on default. Uh, however, you can restrict it. Same with the maximum percentage drawdown allowed. Retrieve history date, that is locked um, so that we get all the history from your account. Master account suffix, now this is only applicable to some brokers. Sometimes you'll see a broker that's got like, if you look down here, you got your US, Euro, US dollar, but they'll have a, a couple of characters after that. So I know, let's say Synergy for example, they have .fx. So if it was a Synergy account, you go .fx. So you don't put in the euro, US dollar or anything like that, it's just the characters that are after that. So actually trader don't have that, so we'll leave that blank. Um, allow specific pairs, you can leave that blank as well. Disable open trades from displaying your statistics. I recommend you leave this on no because your clients are going to need to be able to reconcile their accounts with your master account and it's really hard to do unless they can see what trades you've got open. So leave that on no uh, unless there's a very serious reason that you don't want people to know what you're doing. Um, I reckon leaving that on no. And you want to make sure that you get a email if it disconnects or an SMS. Uh, to set up SMS alerts, just click through this link. It's it's not free, but the emails are free, obviously. And those email address alerts will be sent to the one that you nominate here. You can also select a signal logo. Uh, to be sold on Connect Forex, which is one of our sites. So let's just say, for example, now you want to save your settings. From here, it's going to take you through. It's telling me that I've already got that signal name, which I have because this is the second time that I've done it. So I'll just put a full stop after that name so that it works. And the file's gone. Okay, save settings. Now this will take me through to the payment area. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure you have a payment gateway set up. So payment gateway basically just means a PayPal email address. Uh, the way to set up your PayPal email address, click on settings, click on payment gateways. Um, I'll just remove that so you can see it from scratch. So you click on payment gateways, you want to add a new gateway. Now, if you don't know what the API is, don't worry, just leave it alone. All you need to do is put in your um, PayPal email address, leave the rest blank. Uh, if you do know about APIs, there's some really cool tools that you can use to integrate with your site, but if all you want to do is just get some basic payment links, um, then you don't have anything to worry about. Okay, this isn't really wanting to play ball, so let's just add sample one. All right, so that payment gateway is registered now. So you're gonna have to go back to, click on edit signals to get back to that payment page. Now it's a little bit of a green roll. Edit signals, edit pricing. That gets us back to the page we were on before. Okay, so at the moment we accept PayPal as a payment gateway, click to sell is only really needed if you want to do an affiliate scheme. Um, so just go with PayPal. For how many months, let's say we want to set up a one month subscription and we want to charge $50. 
We want to do a two week free trial and we want to sell it in US dollars and we want the price to be public so that anyone can sign up to it. Uh, you can just leave the subscription name blank if you want to. It's really just a label. Okay, now we want to set up another one. We want to set up something for six months. And then this time we're going to charge, uh, say, $250 because we want to give people a discount for doing six months. Trial period, still two weeks. Add that. And I'm just going to show you quickly really another cool function. Let's say we want to do a one month subscription and we want to make it $40. But we're going to make it private so that only a select group of people can get access to this subscription. So it's not publicly available on Simple Trader or Connect Forex or anything like that. So we've got three payment gateways, one of them's private. Now the really cool thing about these um, payment gateways is that it integrates with your site if you have a site. So what happens is this code generates a PayPal button. Generates a PayPal button that is linked into our platform. So when your clients pay through that button, we pick up the transaction, you get the money directly, we don't touch the money, you get the money directly, we pick up the transaction, we integrate it in with our platform. Your clients get emailed uh, information on how to connect their account and a link to log in to connect their account up. So you don't have to do anything once they uh, execute the license using one of these links. Now the private link, you can put that on a special page on your website or alternatively if you want to just email people a link, just copy that, just that section there and that will link in. This isn't going to work because I'm using a sample PayPal address, but just to give you an idea of what's going to happen. Oh no, it did work. Great. So, sample signal. You can see sample signal. This is what your clients are going to see when they do execute this link. So it's, it's a really cool little function. If you want to do a promotion, um, you want to send out to your top 50 clients a special deal at a special price, and that's what you can do. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hook up the master account. So at the moment you can see we're not connected. Last connection never. So this is the part where we need to download the sender EA. So there's two sides to this. There's the receiver which is clients. There's the sender which is you because you're sending it to us. So you want to download the file. Open it up. Extract the zip. That's what it's going to look like. Now you need to get into your MetaTrader terminal. So go, I've got a made an ExiTrader demo. Go into Experts. You drag the EX4 straight into your Experts. Just see what I'm doing here. Continue. Now you're going to go into your Libraries. Drag the one from your Libraries into your Libraries. The same with Include. Drag include to include. There you go, you're ready to go. So now you see this is what my terminal looks like now. There's no expert advisor in there. You need to restart that. Let's restart the MT4. Now you see the EA is in there. So that's a sender EA. So what you want to do is you want to drag that onto a chart. It can be on any chart any time frame but only put it on one chart because otherwise you'd be sending multiple signals. So make sure that your checkboxes here are the same as mine. Now this key is available on the platform. So, this platform. so you want to click on edit signals. That's the key. Copy that. Just copy that text. And you want to put that into the settings. So that's your key. All right. Click OK. Make sure your experts are enabled. Make sure you got a smiley face. Make sure that you have your broker connected. And you can confirm that by these numbers in, um, going up. And you know you're successful when you see this number of trades zero. So when you execute a trade, obviously it will 
Let's show you the other one. Okay, I don't want to let you do this. There we go. All right. So you see, it just registers that one trade, which is great. All right, so that's live. Those trades are now going into our system, and if you have clients connected, they are receiving those trades. Um, so that's a really exciting part. You're basically now up live, ready to go. We've got a few other functions where you can set up a portal on your site so that you can basically white label our copier. That's free of charge. We'll detail that in another video. Uh, what I'm also going to just explain very briefly is the ad follower slave. So here what you can do is you can uh, copy your own accounts if you like. So let's say you want to you have another one. I don't have a demo account set up ready to go, so I'll just put in a random number there. You need to go through all these settings. It's all fairly self-explanatory, so I won't tell you too much about it um, just on this video. So you update that. That's going to ask me for a broker, isn't it? Apologies, let me get back to the page we're on. Okay, it forces you to select a broker. So in this situation, I'll go with Axie Trader. So add follower slave. This is only if you want to copy your own accounts, remember? So you can sell signals to other people or you can copy your own accounts. Um, if you say have a family member or a friend that doesn't want to pay for it, and doesn't want to get involved in connecting everything up, that's what you can do. You can use the slave account function. So you update that. And now you can see that you've got a slave account set up. It's not connected because we haven't done the other side of it. If you want to do the other side of it, there's um, there's a full instruction manual here in the download section. And you obviously need to download the, the receiver EA from here. But if you if you don't want to copy your own accounts, then don't worry too much about this. Another part that I want to explain to you is the selling of your signals on our sites. So you can publish your signal to connect Forex. Now this is another website that is linked to our platform. So everyone that's on the Simple Trader Network has the ability to sell their signals on this site. We get quite a bit of traffic from people that like the platform. Um, and yeah, check out who we've got going and then sign up to people accordingly. So these guys are all using our platform uh, and have all their details here. To get your stuff included on Connect Forex, it's important that you basically go through all these checks. So you need to make sure that you have all your information. And um, yeah, it's fairly self-explanatory, so I'll let you go through it yourself. Um, another thing that is good to link in is the MyFX book stats. So what we can do is we can extract um, the statistics from your MyFX book account. It's much, much more accurate than when we extract the statistics. So all you do is you put in your MyFX book details there. That's one of my MyFX book accounts. Uh, and then you just um, click on the account it is and it saves it. And then that takes about an hour to update. But that will mean that your statistics are correct when you go to sell it. Because if you see, you click on sample signal here. We haven't got any statistics there. It hasn't traded. That's the logo that I uploaded initially. They're the two payment links. Now remember there were three that we set up. One was private and two are public. So the private one's obviously not being shown here because it's only for a select group of people. The public is the one that, uh, yeah, you want to sell to every man, woman and child that wants a bit of um, Forex profitable trading strategies. Okay, so this is completely set up now. You're ready to sell signals. You have a very basic understanding. If you want to monitor your users, obviously this one doesn't have any users attached to it yet, but as people sign up, you'll be able to see their information here. Email address, name, you can go in and view their accounts. Um, and yeah, check out a little bit of the analytics. Uh, you can also check out your status see how many people are connected at the time. So we've got zero at the moment. This is being connected. But yeah, you can, sort of, you can play around with these things uh, and you're not going to break anything. 
so don't worry too much about it. You've now been shown the most important part 